Welcome to Geography Samachir Syllabus of Tamil Nadu. Class 6 Geography. Term 2, Lesson 1. Resources, Part 1. Resources. A resource is a source or supply from which a benefit is produced and that has some utility, value, and worth. Anything becomes a resource only when its use is discovered. The needs of human beings are ever-changing. According to ever-changing needs of humans, resources also keep changing. Time and technology are two important factors that determine whether a substance is a resource or not. See, for example, copper and iron or the minerals which were available under the earth even during the period of early man. But he didn't know the value or use of these minerals. So at that time, they were not considered, uh, they were, in fact, they were not even found out. So they were not called as resources. Only after the discovery of the copper, the first metal used by man, it became a resource. So the resource or the use of a substance differs from place to place, time to time, and person to person. Example, sun's energy to generate electricity was made possible only after the invention of solar panels. So only after the invention of solar panel, the solar energy has become a resource for us. And the seeding of coal and petrol was indeed of an inexhaustible resource, that is time. So all these things, water, animals, air, oil, rocks, minerals, sun, plants, gas, everything, all these are the resources that are necessary for the humans. But any substance or any stuff that becomes a resource only after its use is discovered. So any substance or stuff that is useful to humans or considered as resources. A resource is something which human society attaches value to due to its usefulness. This means that what is considered a resource can change over time. Oil, for example, was not considered such a valuable resource until the late 19th century onwards, because only after the 19th century, there was a fast or rapid development in the field of transport, trade, and communication. So naturally, the importance or the need of oil was also kept increasing. So it became one of the most valuable resources of the world. But before that, we didn't understand the value of oil. We think the broad definition of the resources will be food and water resources, energy resources, and mineral resources. For example, let us see this activity. Circle the resources that are not necessary for gardening. So water necessary for gardening is the resources for gardening that are not necessary is not the resource for gardening. Here you are asked to circle the resources that are not necessary for gardening. Soil. Yes, soil is of course very much essential for gardening. Seas, it's needed. A piece of land, definitely it is needed. Computers. Computers are not needed for gardening. Saplings, they are needed for gardening. Flower pots, definitely they are needed. Manual, needed. Textbooks, textbooks are not the resources required for gardening. So the answer for this activity is computers and textbooks. Of course, they are resources for humans, but for gardening, computers and textbooks are not the resources. Resource is anything that fulfills human needs. When anything is of some use, it becomes valuable. All resources have value. The value can be either commercial or non-commercial. That is, it has monetary value, and some resources, they do not have, though they are very precious and valuable, they do not have any monetary value. Commercial resources have great economic value like petroleum. They have price for it. The non-commercial resources are very abundant in supply, in availability. They are very essential for our life, but they do not have any monetary or economic value. That is example, air, wind, sunlight. Resources can be broadly divided as natural resources, man-made resources, and human resources. Natural resources, any resource that is available or provided by nature and free in supply are called as natural resources. Example, air, water, petroleum, all minerals, all are natural resources. 
man made resources or the resources made by humans with the help of the natural resources machines vehicles roads buildings parks railways all these things are man made resources human resources we people ourselves or the great resources or the assets for any country and the service the teaching service of a teacher the lawyer the nurse the doctor banker tailor all these are example of human resources what is a natural resource a natural resource is anything people can use which comes from nature people do not make natural resources but they can gather them from the earth examples of natural resources are air water trees plants soil sun and wind all resources that have been directly provided by nature are called natural resources the air water soil minerals natural vegetation and wildlife around us all example of natural resources the use of any natural resource depends on the place it is available the form in which it is available and the technology necessary to avail it natural resources of the earth can be classified into different groups depending on origin development renewability distribution and ownership let us see all these one by one in detail first let us see about the natural resources on the basis of origin on the basis of origin we are classified as biotic resource and abiotic resource bio bio means life so all living things on the earth are considered as biotic resources and all non living things are called as abiotic resources the biotic resources were mere substances till they were recognized by humans according to the human needs the substances were collected by the ancient men and preserved for use in the beginning man had only three basic needs food clothing and shelter he collected things from nature through the primary activities like wood cutting fishing hunting food gathering etc later when food became scarce they had to cultivate and that became farming and agriculture and the cattle were also reared on their farms to fulfill their basic needs abiotic resources or all non living things on the earth land water air and minerals or abiotic resources the abiotic resources were also sought after sought after by the early man initially they went in search of better land forms where they had enough water serves resources for agriculture and their cattle so the early man was roaming from one place to another and they were nomads but later they discovered that the settlement in groups would provide them safety so he went in search of fertile lands where he can cultivate his food needs and where he can have better or favorable weather where he can settle down with his groups they were in need of tools right for hunting to agriculture initially or primarily the tools were only made of stones and wooden sticks then later he dug the earth for better abiotic resources and found copper which was the first metal used by man and later he found out iron he also mined precious metals simultaneously for making beautiful ornaments later mining became one of the leading primary activities and still holds an important place upon the economic activities of man and the next classification of natural resources on the basis of development on the basis of development the resources can be categorized into actual resources and potential resources what are actual resources the resources that are being used and the quantity available is known to us is known as actual resources that is we still use or we can use the resources and we know where the resources are available and we know how to extract the resources and these resources are called as actual resources example oil available in middle east countries the coal mines the iron mines everything and potential resources these resources are not being used in the present and because its quantity and the location are not known to us and we don't know how to the technology of extracting those resources and the technology to access such resources are yet to be developed and an example is the marine yeast 
and we have both terrestrial yeast and marine yeast. The terrestrial yeast is used by us for cooking in the field of baking, brewing, wine, and bioethanol, etc. And the marine yeast is of good quality or better quality than the terrestrial yeast. But we also know that they are available in Bay of Bengal. But yet we have not found out any technology to extract this marine yeast. And this is an example for potential resource. On the basis of exhaustibility, the resources are classified into renewable resource and non-renewable resource. Renewable, renew, that is the resources once consumed can be renewed with the passage of time or called as renewable resources. That is, they can be easily replaced. Misuse of such resources can also limit its available quantity. So we have to use them very wisely, intelligently without exploiting them. Non-renewable resources are the resources which are limited in supply and they can become exhausted after use and the time they take to replace does not match with our life cycle. That is, it may take four or five generations to replace. The resources which cannot renew themselves or either scarce that is limited in supply or totally absent. So man is in search of new resources and is conducting several researches. He confirms that a substance is a resource only after research. He tries to harness it and also searches the regions where it may be founded. They are potential resources. Wind energy is one such example. The places where the wind energy can be utilized are still unknown. Though we have found out many places and where still we are harnessing the wind energy, yet many places are to be explored. On the basis of distribution, when resources are present in specific regions, they are called as localized resources. Resources present everywhere are called as universal resources. All the minerals are localized resources. We know where they are available. See the iron minerals, iron deposits in Bihar, the coal deposits in Jharkhand, all these are example, the coal or gold field in Karnataka are example of localized resources. Sunlight, air, wind, all these are the resources found everywhere and these are called as universal resources. On the basis of ownership, individual resources, community-owned resources, national resources and international resources. Resources privately owned by individuals are called as individual resources, our house. Ex example or a house, apartment, a building, all these are examples of individual resources. Community-owned resources, the resources that are used by the people of a particular area, the library of a colony, the, uh, the hospital built by a community, or the public parks, these are all the examples of the resources of community-owned resources. National resources, the resources within the political boundaries and oceanic area of a country. Example, the Western Ghats of India, the, the rivers of India like Ganga River, Yamuna River, Narmada and Tapti River, the tropical forest of India. All these are examples of national resources. International resources, all oceanic resources found in the open ocean are called as international resources. Though they are available in the open ocean, they cannot be utilized freely by any country. There are certain formalities to be followed. They can be utilized only after an international agreement. An example is ambergris. Do you know what is ambergris? Actually, ambergris is a substance that is found in the intestine of sperm whale, and it comes out when it vomits, and costly perfumes are made with the help of this ambergris. It is an extract from the sperm whale. A pound of less than half a kg of sweet smelling amber green worth 63,000 US dollars and which is used in making perfume industries. Tropical rainforests are called as the world's largest pharmacy because 25% of the natural vegetation are medicinal plants. An example, chinkona. Chinkona is a medicine used we get the medicine called penine from the chinkona tree of the tropical rainforest, which is used for curing the disease like malaria. And let us see about the man-made resources and the sustainability of using the resources in our next class. 
thanks for watching my video don't forget to like and comment share with share it with your friends and subscribe my channel thank you for watching